teach your tenure? No. Nothing really. Education reform. I've never heard of it. It's not fair. Provides a safety net and job security. It really slows things down. You're guaranteed work and you can't get fired. Tenure is a privilege reserved for some of the most upstanding professions in the country. Teacher tenure was specifically introduced as a way to protect teachers from being fired by mere complaint or vendettas of parents or administrators. History of teacher tenure. In 1885, the National Education Association demanded that teachers' job security be made a political issue. Prior to 1885, teachers were fired predominantly because of their race, gender, or pure favoritism. The following year, Massachusetts became the first state to pass a tenure law for non-college teachers. In 1909, New Jersey solidified that idea by specifically guaranteeing protection for all K-12 teachers. Teachers unions were primarily formed after the Great Depression to serve as a voice for all teachers whose intention was to protect their rights. I guess why it came about. I, I think why it first came about was college professors can be on the liberal side. In fact, during like the 70s and 60s, when there were a lot of protests here in the United States, um, a lot of college professors, like even before that, a lot of college professors basically they were worried that if they were to voice like their opinions, they get fired. And they write, and they have to write, they have to publish in order to keep their their job. And so it was to protect them. So if they wrote something that was very outlandish or crazy or whatever, that they could not get fired for expressing their views. So by having teacher tenure, they're able to like voice their opinions to their students and kind of like be able to teach freely without having to have repercussions for it in terms of like being reprimanded for their beliefs. Those with innovative projects and lesson plans would feel secure in the classroom rather than fear being targeted by administrators. In the sciences, tenure has been used to protect teachers from religious parents who disagree with certain theories and file complaints. I think that teacher tenure is a good and a bad thing. Teacher tenure is like a double-edged sword. It's got some positives, it's got some negatives, and it's difficult to assess which is, which is more dominant, whether it's ultimately a good thing or ultimately a bad thing. This reform is the center of much controversy, with various pros and cons. From 2007 through 2010, only 88 out of 80,000 city school teachers have lost their jobs due to poor performance in New York. I think it's necessary for when you find teachers who are effective with students, you want them to have that permanent status so they are able to make a change in the school environment and inspire the kids to move on. Some teachers, I think, would work better knowing that they can take risks. In terms of protecting teachers, it's wonderful. I personally am not in favor of it um, because I think it hurts our educational system here in, in the United States, in this country. Overall, I'm against tenure. Tenure makes some teachers possibly like lazy because they rely on, well, I have tenure, so I really don't have to strive to improve and become a better teacher because I'm protected. Teacher tenure, is it necessary? I'm going to give an answer that I normally tell my students not to give a yes, no answer. First of all, I, don't, I think in like today's world, like no given with our economy, um, with what's happening and with like test scores and kids' performance and graduation rates, like I don't think any job in education is protected. And I don't even think like tenure provides you with like protection. Like I think it's just, if you mess up in your job, even if you're tenured, like you're not, you don't have like a free pass, like okay, well you don't have to do your job and you can just, you know, just sit and collect a paycheck. Like those days of like thinking that tenure equates to um, a person not doing their job, like I, studies have shown um, and just like common sense has shown, like that's not what happened. Not good tenure teacher, we're talking about a very small, small majority, but 90, 95% of the tenure are very good, and the reason is I think they really love their profession. It, it all comes down to the person who is the 
the teacher. So if the teacher cares about their job, they're passionate about it, they're good at it, and they're willing to improve, and they're willing to, like, if they do suck, they're willing to work on it to become a better teacher, I think there should be no, there should be no concern, there should be no... A lot of teachers, you know, they get comfortable, and when they're comfortable, maybe their job performance suffers, and they don't really do the best job that they could. So I could see that in the short term, a teacher would take it and use it positively, but in the long term, it could kind of detract from their teaching ability. My incentive is when my kids come back and tell me thank you. That's the incentive. Monetary incentive, I, um, I don't think there should be a monetary incentive because we became teachers for the love of education, for the passion of inspiring kids, not to become millionaires. You know, there's always that little thing in the back of your head where, you know, what if you make a, what if you make a mistake, or what if you do one thing wrong, and, or one parent gets mad about one thing, you know, or, or one student gets mad about one thing, is that, is that, does that have the potential to end your career because of one silly mistake? Because everybody makes mistakes, every teacher makes mistakes. It's the biggest complaint that a lot of, like, education reformers have is the fact that tenure exists because, again, when you have bad teachers, if they have tenure, it's incredibly difficult to get rid of them. It takes so much time. I mean, I think there was a statistic in the state of California that over the past five years, out of all the teachers, I think one has been written out in the past number of years, just because it, it's so pervasive, it takes so much time to write somebody out, document just their poor, their poor performance. It's like a lengthy process that takes like several years to get rid of a teacher, you know? And that's all because of tenure. Essentially, I believe that tenure prevents bad teachers from being fired. I think that um, while it works in this environment with this set of people, complete having no tenure may not be universal because I don't think that everyone is as good natured as the administration here. Uh, personally, I think if you do your job well, if you're, if you're really passionate about the job, you don't need that kind of protection. That stability and that idea that you have that guaranteed employment with the union is very important to a lot of families. The administration here, and I feel like everyone who's above Matt Wonder, like they're very supportive, they're very family oriented, like they want to take care of their, their faculty because they know if they take care of the faculty, it'll trickle down and the students will be taken care of. Some charter schools do a really excellent job of uh, supporting their teachers and they do have like 10 year like systems um, and I think those are the really successful ones. In public schools tenure, charter schools don't have that and they're able to produce better results. I think that everything that's happening at a charter school, like made by the people in charge, those things need to be made transparent. Now it's evolved into this thing where it, it impacts like teachers, like in LA for example, some teachers are protected by unions where they have tenure where you teach like three years, you are, you're set. You pretty much have to like freaking molest a kid to like get fired. Right. I think again, like I said in the beginning, I think that people kind of group, because we are paid, because we're employees, I feel like teacher or, or society groups the teaching profession right alongside other professions and we're, it's not the same. We're not like a banker, we're not like a lawyer, we're not like doctors. Um, it's just a different structure, it's a different dynamic and I think people need to understand it's, it's not just keeping bad teachers in the classroom because they have tenure. It's protecting them. You're saying, um, I don't think anything stops them. I don't think anything stops any employee from being a bad employee once they become permanent. I mean, there's lots of jobs where you are not permanent status until 90 days. Um, so once you get the job, I mean, you know, it's up to the individual. No? Honestly, I have never felt like my position was in jeopardy. Tenure, I don't think it's something that um, You don't have tenure, you always have to constantly, I wouldn't say worry, but you constantly have that fire under your ass, excuse me. Schools that I've worked in have always been Title I schools, so it's like low socioeconomic status. Um, they're students that are more at risk. And so knowing that, it's like you need to send your best teachers to those areas, not teachers who are just like, okay, I'm gonna try it for two years. The idea is, although it's hard to do, is you should take your best teachers and put them with your lowest performing students because they're the ones that need the most support. I feel like it should be more difficult to get, more difficult to achieve for a teacher. Um, it should not be a two-year system where your principal who doesn't even know you just kind of checks on you every now and then. And I feel like 
once you achieve tenure, there should be benchmarks along the way to, in order to maintain your tenure. Guaranteed protection after teaching for two years that you pretty much can do anything and get away with it and not lose your job, that kind of sucks. Because if a teacher was just granted tenure and they don't have to worry about, oh, in the next year will I have a job? Like, it, if they don't have to worry about their personal finances, then they'll be able to focus more on teaching students. As long as you do your job, you're going to be fine. I think as a teacher, I would love to grow no matter how many years it would take to get tenure. Um, I think, I mean, things always change, or students always change, times are changing, you know what I mean? So I think as a teacher, I would love to adapt no matter how many years. And even if it, I do have tenure, um, I would still like to evolve and progress. Like, I think that it's easy to villainize teachers and to villainize this idea of, okay, well, tenure means that you don't have to do your job. No. If I were an effective teacher and I'm tenured, I don't have to do much because it's going to be an arduous task to remove me from the site or remove me from the district or remove me from the classroom because I am tenured. If I don't perform, I get fired. So I, I don't quite understand that. And their argument is, well, principals would let teachers go all the time. No, I wouldn't. It's, if you're not performing, then you should, should get a job. As long as there are safeguards protecting teachers from, like, principals who, like, subjectively target teachers for, like, random reasons. I've been here for 16 years, and I came in with the mentality, one, whether I'm tenured or not, if I'm ineffective, my principal will find a way to remove me. I have parents that sometimes will complain and go, well, how come, how come you don't fire that teacher? And it's hard to explain to them, like, I can't, I'll get fired before they will. Proposition 74, otherwise known as Put the Kids First Act, was an act introduced by California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger in 2005 to extend the probationary period for tenure from two years to five years. The act was shot down and never passed. Former Massachusetts Governor William Weld tried to pass legislation requiring teachers to take competency tests every five years. If a teacher is not performing and they're the 5th, 6th, 10th, 15th, 20th year, whatever it is, why do they almost have to commit murder in order, in order to keep their jobs? We've got to make a decision in two years on them. Maybe they should extend that out a little bit maybe three to five years, but the teachers union is so strong in this country, I don't know if we'll ever see any movement. Maybe tenure should be, instead of just like a lifelong career, it should be a series of a couple years that if you're not performing to a certain standard, then they give you feedback, they give you the opportunity to change, and then if you repeatedly don't change over maybe three or four years, then it should be uh, they, there should be an option for administration to let you go. Once a teacher obtains tenure, they have to keep reapplying for it every, f say, five years or whatever. It's not a lifetime contract. I think tenureship should be after five or six years. Because five at three years, traditionally, it's day one of year three. And at that point, you're still a new teacher. You're still trying to figure out who you are as a teacher. You're still trying to figure out your curriculum that you're teaching. It allows them to focus more on what's important, which is teaching children. If we have it, it has to be way more, we're just much more restrictive, it has to have more accountability, it has to have a system set up where a teacher cannot have the safety net for 28 years and not be fired if they don't do their job. It is the way it is, and that's the system we're in. And it's, it's not going to change anytime soon, it'll probably always be this way.